their resource source because they don't have them uh, themselves. And because it's uh, uh, something that traverses the universe uh, and has been doing going on for eons and eons and eons, and there are many moons like them, many, many moons like them. Like I say, it's a modus operandi. Um, sure. It means that they are dependent upon the target planet for survival. <laughs> so that's why, they're ter- <laughs> that's why they're terrified of being found out. It's to get, because the game's up. Because technological aware, technologically aware as they are and spiritually dead as they are, um, they, um, they still need the earth and humanity to survive. And, and that's why they're desperate not to be uncovered. Well, sorry, guys. The day has arrived. So, oh, um, hmm. you know, I, I'm looking at that situation, David, as you, even as you're talking about it. And I'm thinking to myself, um, is it just enough for us just to become aware of their presence and, and to change that? Well, once, once, we, once, we, once we disconnect from the moon matrix... We are going to have, um, as we move along, extraordinary abilities. You know, um, one of the key ways that the moon matrix c- controls humanity is it puts us in the left brain. Uh, well, it puts um, moon matrix people in the left brain anyway. And it does this to a large part by closing down vast areas of what, it, what is called the corpus callosum, which is the bridge between the right and left brain. What should happen is information is exchanged um, between those two hemispheres. So we, we are whole brain people. But once um, we are locked in the left brain, that sees everything in terms of a partness, in terms of structure. Uh, and, 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 and therefore, we, we live in a left brain society. We live in a left brain world. It's all about structure and a partness and language and, 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 and what have you. The right brain is our connection out into infinity into into the infinite awareness infinite knowledge and this is why you get these people um, who get damaged uh, to the left brain or the left brain's not functioning that that can get amazing abilities which to left brain society are miraculous and impossible but they're not there's this uh, guy Stephen Wiltshire um, in England who um, is what they call an autistic savant um, mm-hmm. and uh, he as staggered people like on one occasion uh, the BBC flew him up over London in a helicopter for half an hour just no cameras that that he had no camera to um, record what he was seeing and no anything he just just had to look out of the helicopter and he came back and he drew London from the air in enormous detail windows number of windows and this is a guy who because of his um, his uh, autism if you like um, did not have the ability to count, and yet he, he got the windows right in the buildings. It's extraordinary. You go on the internet, Stephen Wilshire, you see what he does. Uh, and and what, what um, this fantastic ability comes from is that they get access to the true or some, some of the true potential of human awareness, which we've been uh, uh, disconnected from. So um, we are not just going to wake up eventually in in the way that we think we are now we're going to start entering a period of unbelievable potential and that potential is what this reptilian race uh, in the moon cannot cope with because the very the very fact that they have a need to control everything um, means that they are in a state a low vibrational state themselves Hence, the moon matrix has to be in a low vibrational state because it's their hive mind. And, and, and um, they uh, have only been able to control humanity by putting us in a smaller box than they're in, a smaller box of, of awareness than they're in. And, once, um, and, and their box has limitations, big limitations, why they are in their state of perception, which is fear, which comes from fear of not surviving. Uh, and therefore people in fear of not surviving and in fear in general they want to control everything because states of flux terrify them they, if they don't know the outcome before the game starts they can't they can't cope with that because it's it's oh no no i've got, I've got to know it can't, it can't be any states of flux can't take it so they're in this box and once humans open up to their true potential even some of it we go well beyond that box you know these um 
these reptilians in the moon are at the moment uh, some some insiders have speculated 10,000 years ahead of us in technological knowledge but that that's a misnomer because once you cross a certain line in understanding how reality works as opposed to how we're told it works which is all these cul-de-sacs of limitation um, suddenly you can you can move 10,000 years of technological development very 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 fast because you've crossed that line of understanding of how reality works right. and uh, you know humanity as this vibrational change imposes itself as we go into this next cycle of the time loop if you like um, a much higher cycle than the one we've been through just now in the last epoch um, we are going to I mean, what we call miraculous today is going to be commonplace. Uh, and, and the control system must fall because the control system is based on keeping humans in a, not just a fake identity, though that's part of it, but in a low, desperately low level of their true potential. When that true potential or, or a great deal more of it is activated, the control system must fall because the very basis that's holding it together will have been removed. Right. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Giving me a whole bunch of things to think about in, yeah. in response to, uh, in light of the, some of the new information. And, and it's not really new information. What it is is information that's been hidden. Yeah. I just pre I prefer to look at it from that viewpoint. It's not new information. It's just information that's been hidden. So as we, we bring that hidden knowledge forward, we bring that hidden understanding forward, and we start embracing it and um, really start focusing on letting go of these constructs, I I get this huge expansion. Um, personally, I get this huge expansion when I look at it. Um, that um, life can be so much more different, so much more different in in the way that we experience it in in physical form. For anyone that chooses to come to the earth as an experience of a lifetime. Yeah. Exactly. I'm just I'm amazed. I'm amazed at it. I just look at this and I go, "Wow." You know, it's it's almost it's almost to the point where you can't quite get there because it's it's so beyond everything that you've learned up to this point or what you thought was was truth up to this point. That's right. And you know, it's like um when you first hear it and it first dawns upon you. Uh, I mean, this didn't happen to me because it seemed as I've been through the last 20 years it just seems the most natural thing in the world to me I don't know why but it does but you know uh -huh. you know in the Matrix movies when um, when Neo is given the truth of reality the illusory nature of reality and he goes um, he goes kind of crazy and starts throwing up uh, right. that, that's uh, you know, some people will experience it in an extreme way because suddenly I've um I've described it like this sometimes. It's like being born into a box and you think the box is all there is. And everyone in the box with you is telling you it's all, it's all there is. And, and everything um, just keeps going on as if the box is all there is. And then someone comes along and they lift the lid of the box off and say, have a look at this, darling. And, and crikey, that, that shock of realizing uh, how the world is a fraction of what you thought it was uh, or your world is a fraction of what you thought it w what the world was can 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 take some uh integrating if you like but uh the 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 people coming along now uh, at least have the benefit of so many who've been through that process whereas uh, some of the pioneers were doing it um completely um you know making it up as they went along they had not a clue what was going on and no one to explain it to them right Exactly. Well, <laughs> I'm just really, this has just been absolutely one of the most delightful conversations, David. Um, absolutely delightful in in so many different ways. Um, and before we let you go today, though, because uh, you've been kind enough to give us more time than what we originally scheduled, and I appreciate that. Um, I want you to draw attention to your uh, your newsletter and also back to your books and your website um, because you're also following um, a, a story um, that has really triggered some things uh, for many, many people in the Holly case. And um, so I subscribe to your newsletter in order to get the updates to see what's, 
you know, what's been going on and, and a different viewpoint from the 